Sales is evolving. The profession of sales itself, salesmanship, is changing right now for a lot of reasons related to technology, which I'll dive into in a moment. <clears throat> but for your perspective, all you need to understand is that right now there are two separate camps of selling. And most professional salespeople are not even aware of this themselves. We're going to use terminology, which is not a judgment, but for lack of a better term, I'll call it the low end of sales and the high end of sales. At the low end of sales is the automation, all the easy to understand products and services that you kind of get what they do from the moment you look at them. Things like Amazon and Netflix and Google and all these shopping apps that you really don't need anyone to explain to you or you don't need an interface, you just need to press the button. That is the low end of sales. At the high end of sales, it is extremely customized. It is extremely personalized. It usually revolves around you with the customer's data. That would be things like healthcare or financial algorithmic transaction design. Analytics of any type or sort is the high end of sales. Now, the low end of sales is based on IQ, smart stuff, technology, engineering, UX, UI. The high end of sales is based on people, relationships, one-on-one -on -one understanding of the actual needs of what the customer is looking for. These are two separate skill sets, and these are being driven right now because of the evolution of digital marketing. The internet has led to the, the, the birth of the social networks, as we all know, and off of that comes the digital marketing. The digital marketing is basically targeting and retargeting based on your clicks. Now that is a very different skill set than it is with you sit down with someone and understand for their life insurance needs, how many dependents do they have? What type of time frame are they looking at? Do they have a husband or a wife that they need to worry about caring for in their later years? These are things that are very customized. If you're going in for an operation, you want to meet the doctor who's going to be working the laser scalpel, no? That's what I'm talking about. A high end of sales would be the doctor saying, I'm your guy or girl and here's why. I went and had my uh, a filling put in a couple of weeks back. I need to know who this dentist is. There's a man with a drill in my mouth. This is a very customized, high level, one on one. If I don't like the person, I'm not using them. Same thing with me in the world of algorithms and trading. If they don't like me, no matter how good my product or service may be, if they don't trust me or trust my firm or think the service I'm offering is really just about to make a buck, they got to keep one eye on me at all times, they're not going to use me. That's it. And so, this brings us to the sales skills themselves. Let's step back for a second and think, what is selling? The actual process of selling, what is it? A lot of people think it's the outbound communication, it's this, right? It's the ability to give a smooth pitch. It's the proper hand gestures. If I can bring you in. All these types of outward things are called sales in most people's mind, but that's not the real Jedi skill set of a masterful salesperson. A real salesperson is selling with these things. Sales is about the art of listening. Listening is an art. Everybody hears, but not everybody hears, right? You're listening for the words behind the words. It's got nothing to do with what's being said and everything to do with what's behind what's being said. And being able to parse that, that, that information, to deconstruct the message, if you will, that is part of the skill set of a real salesperson. Being able to ask the appropriate questions, like that laser scalpel, you want to go right to the point. That incision with the question is part of the skill set. And that's the thing where everyone says that, you know, that sounds great on paper, but I travel to Europe frequently. I, I think I mentioned in the article if you've read it. I'm in, I don't know, 12 countries over the past 18 months, and oftentimes I'll get mere minutes with a very important person, and I need to understand something key. I've taken a nine hour flight to understand what this person needs, needs, and I need to get that from them. So how do I elicit that properly? Because guess what? In some cultures, and I'll use the Americans for just for example. Down in the American South, they're very polite. Very polite. They will talk to you. They will welcome you. They will thank you. They just don't want to make you feel bad. So to get that information from them is a very different approach than if I'm in, say, New York City, where they don't have time for me. New York is right to the point, okay? Here it is. Five seconds. You're hurt or not by this. I'm busy, and this is the information, and this is what I need, and I've got to go. Let me know. Get back to me. That's the New York sale. California, completely different. California is about lifestyle. It's laid back. We all know that. So how you get to these people is different because guess what? The approach is based on the question and is based on the listening because the question comes off of what you heard. It's a little game and you may only have minutes to pull this off. So a masterful salesperson has to be facile in the art of listening and questioning. We call it probing, but it's got nothing to do with the actual broadcasting part. Now, everybody knows 
Coffee's for closers, right? Coffee for clo- who gives the pitch? Who can close that customer? I won't name the names, but there's guys out there with, with sales courses and gurus and, and, and conferences in Vegas that are all pitching on how to do it. Pound them till they buy, right? We all know that. That doesn't work anymore. It's over. That game is over. That game is over because of the digital marketing we just talked about. If you're not targeting your people pro- appropriately, meaning your prospects, you've lost. You're, you're, you're hurting your brand. By pa- Nobody wants to be pounded. You don't. You don't want to be closed. You don't want to have that phone call or that text now or the messaging coming in on your social when you're like, oh. I get hit on LinkedIn all the time by people from all over the world, and I know immediately who's looking for something and who actually wants to make a connection. You do too. Everybody knows. It's, it's a people game. And that people skill is it now. We've gone from coffee being for the closer, which is really the hunter, to the coffee being for the farmer, the relationship manager, the person who builds that bond, the person who can get the customer to be comfortable, to come to them and say, this is great, this is what I really need. I like what you're doing with this, but I'm gonna bring you a little more into the kimono because I need a little more out of you, the salesperson. The salesperson then moves from closer to partner. It's a partnership. It's the kind of relationship build where there's suddenly two heads are better than one. The customer knows this. So rather than keeping you out, they're bringing you in. That's the difference. That is the new skill set. It is the IQ of building bonds versus the, I'm sorry, it is the EQ of building bonds versus the IQ of building graphical user interfaces. So here's my point. You need to develop a fresh skill set based on where you are. Your, your salesmanship is breaking into two camps. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I clearly fall into the EQ camp versus the IQ. The point is this, know where you fit. Slot yourself appropriately. Be building on the skill sets that are gonna get you where you need to go commercially, individually, and as a firm in 2019. Because the truth of the matter is, it's not the same game. Things have changed. And all those sales books and all the manuals and all the guru master classes and all that bit is from pre-internet. It's a new world now. So get with the stick. Figure out where you can fit yourself and how you can benefit because guess what? We're not all good at everything. I'd love to tell you I've got it all down. I don't. I know what I am. I'm a fork, a spoon, or a knife, and so are you. Figure it out. And the final thing I'll tell you is once you skill up, you go at the opportunity. There's going to be disruption. There's going to be carnage. There's going to be upset in the landscape of sales. And I'm not talking any particular industry. All of them. All industries. Life right now is changing. It's got to do with the technology advances. We're moving at an exponential speed. You already know this. And sales is no different. So get your sales game up and get where you can win because somebody's going to and make that you. Give it some thought.